Hi my babes, como están? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the new ColourPop Lost in Love collection. So ColourPop just sent me this, I got it a couple of days ago, actually, yeah. The day that I arrived from my benefit trip, that's when I got the goodies. So I was gonna do today, like just talk about my benefit trip and you guys asked me some questions on Instagram. So I think I'm gonna do that for Thursday's video because I really wanna get this up since me lo acaban de mandar and I just really want to do a review because this collection is actually really really pretty so I couldn't help myself <laughs> so the first thing that I want to show you guys is the palette lost in love palette so this retails for $18 it has 12 shades so we have mattes we have some shimmers and you can also buy the entire collection for $110 now everything is still available to purchase nothing has been sold out yet which is a really good thing <laughs> that's why I really wanted to do it because on ColourPop's website, it has like a little heart and it says like selling fast. So a lot of these items, like the palettes, the blushes, and makeup sponge are selling out really quick. So I'm glad I'm uploading this video for you guys. But the palette is still available. Again, $18. You can also buy the palette with the glitter gel set as well. So you have some options on how you can buy the palette, but individually, it's still available for $18. Next up, we have the XOXO Forever Lip and Cheek bomb set so you can use this on your lips or on the cheeks i think for me mostly i would use these for my cheeks if i'm completely honest um so the full collection which are just three those retail for 32 dollars or if you want to buy them individually they are going to retail for 12 dollars each and i don't think you can buy them with any other products from the collection you can either buy them just individually or in a set or if you wanna buy them with the entire collection. And next up, we have the Jelly Much Eyeshadows. So we have Forever Valentine, Moon and Stars, and then we have All Love. And here are the swatches on my arm, and I also apply them on my eyes, so you guys can really see the color payoff of these jelly eyeshadows. I probably won't use them, I don't know yet, on my eye look today, but I really wanted to put them on my eyes so you guys can really see like the finish. Like it's just, they're just really, really pretty i really like them um, you can buy them individually for nine dollars each or 22 dollars for all three and then you guys we have sparks this is a body glitter gel which retails for ten dollars individually again you can buy this one with the palette together and that's going to retail for 26 dollars and then we have the valentine's kiss ultra glossy lip set low-key i kind of wish these were liquid mattes not gonna lie <laughs> but the first shade we have is one kiss and then we have taken and finally love era and you can buy them together for $24 or individually like I said for $9 and finally we have the heart blending sponge which of course is a regular beauty blender so I can't wait to open this up get it wet and see how it performs when I do my concealer and all that good stuff okay so let's play with it now I will be honest I don't know if I'm like completely like in love love with the color story like I like a few of the shades in here don't get me wrong but um yeah i don't know call me crazy <laughs> but we'll see we will see so i'm gonna use the shade called dips this color right there i'm gonna apply that in my crease and i'm gonna use my morphe m433 and you guys already know my style whenever it comes to creating eyeshadow looks i always like to pat the eyeshadow first i'm gonna wing it out and start to blend that eyeshadow out okay so so far this pink is pretty pigmented which is really nice and with this color you can also apply like in the inner corner you know to make the inner corner bright and pink like there's so many looks that you can actually create with this palette and with the shade actually you know what i'm gonna apply this in the inner corner i kind of want to low-key apply this in here okay so i started going into yours truly this shade and first i went into a very like thin brush like this and i applied it like right here in the inner corner so it's like you're cutting the crease because i want this section to be very thin and then when i moved down here we're gonna warm it up or thicken it up a little bit so i am using the luna magic brush and pretty much just making this part towards the outer corner thicker but while keeping this pretty thin does that make sense i hope it makes sense <laughs> all right so i started to apply it like a wing because again i didn't really know exactly what i'm doing with this look yet 
Well, I guess I kind of have an idea, but you know, at first you're like, what do I do? So I went into yours truly and I started to create just a smoked out wing and I used this detailed brush from Luna Magic. Actually, I lied. I went into this Bibella NG354 brush, the one that we used earlier. And so I'm just creating like where I want to place the eyeliner at. So just like that. And then I do take it towards the bottom lash line and I don't connect it to the top. I do leave like a little negative space right there. And now I'm going to go back into that brush from Luna Magic just to thicken it up a little bit. And I do want to cut my crease, just like the crease, not so much like the lid, just to clean it up a little bit. So I'm using my, again, my Urban Decay Eden Primer. And again, just to clean it up, make it more sharp. And you totally don't have to do this. You guys can leave it like this and just fill it in with the eyeshadow, like a shimmer eyeshadow if you don't want such a clean look. Um, but I definitely want to go with the clean look today okay i really want to go into totally smitten this nice like ugh, pink pressed glitter shadow <laughs> <laughs> the palette is like literally in front of me and I keep eyeballing it. So I really want to go into that one for all over the lid. I kind of want to leave the inner corner to go into, I really want to dive into Forever Valentine, this shade, um, and just highlight this inner corner. But for the rest of the lid, I really want to use that shade. Okay, now I'm going to use the jelly highlighter in the inner corner. I'm pretty sure this would be super blinding if it was like all over the lid, but... We have to go in with some eyeshadow colors from the palette, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna prep my eyes really quick with like lashes and then do my base off camera. And then I really wanna try this to blend out my concealer. So give me a second. Okay, so I got the Heart Blending Sponge Wet. And you guys, it feels very soft. I'm very in shock on how soft it is. <laughs> and I really love how it's shaped like a heart. I think it's so cute. So obviously to blend out my concealer, I'm gonna use the tip of the sponge and i'm just going to start to like blend out my concealer like normal so it feels really smooth oh yeah and it's blending out my concealer nice okay you can also use this side of the sponge as you guys can tell with all the makeup right there you can lay it flat to blend everything out you can also use this for your foundation i feel like it's big enough to use for your foundation or to even apply like cream um blush which i think i might do just for purpose of today's video okay so usually i would go in for something like this but i think i want to go into something a little bit more like pinky you know or i don't know you guys saw how crazy pigmented these were <laughs> with the swatches on the skin so a little bit goes a long way i don't know which one i want to go into you know what let's build it up so let's go in with this one first um the shade called hearts content and then we'll go into adore you afterwards if i feel like this is too light um i am going to use the heart sponge but instead of obviously that side i'm going to use it on this side and i'm going to go in like this let's just see oh okay i think i might like this i'm just gonna stamp it all like i usually would with the beauty blender and i'm gonna go in with the blush you guys because it's valentine's day and there's no such thing as too much blush um oh look how pretty this is okay guys the blushes are definitely a yes for me so far so good i really love how pigmented they are and how creamy they feel on the skin um, I really, really like them. And I really like this sponge, not gonna lie. It's really hard for me to actually like sponges. So um, ColourPop did pretty okay with this one. Oh, I love this color. This blush color is really, really cute. Look at that color. Yes, ColourPop, this is bomb. Okay, so I would definitely say that Hearts con Content. I was thinking it was gonna be like too light, but no, this girl. <laughs> My cheeks are blushing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you are my complexion, this color Hearts Content is perfect. Okay, so I look crazy, but it's because I'm baking. So I'm going to use my Tres Luce Nude Liner in the shade Tranquila. And we're going to apply this in the waterline. And then going back into Yours Truly, we are going to just bring it like right here. Then I'm going to go back into Totally Smitten again, the first, the shade that we use for all over the lid. And that is going to go right here in the inner corner. Going back into Dips, we're going to place this towards the bottom lash line. Just so that Yours Truly 
really doesn't look super harsh. I just want to like smooth it out a little bit. For my lips, I'm going to go in to my, um, what is this again? <laughs> P. Louise, I think. Yes, yeah, my P. Louise Speed Dial Lip Pencil. Okay, so now I'm going to use the shade called One Kiss. Again, these are the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip Glosses. So I was going to go into this one, you guys, but I kind of felt like it was too like brownie orangey. Maybe also because of the lip pencil, but I think I'm going to go into the shade called Taken instead. For the collection, you guys, I would definitely say that I'm not like crazy over the color story on the palette. I just personally feel like I'm not really digging these three colors down here. I kind of wish they would have done, instead of the oranges, maybe like a purple color, like a dark purple or a dark red. You know, just something more Valentine's Day because once you get rid of that, like that gives me Valentine's vibes. But just these three just kind of like throw me off. And as well as with this, um, the Jelly Moon Shadow, this one too, like this orange shade, like it doesn't really give me Valentine's Day vibes. So I really don't really like this color, but these two are absolutely stunning and I can't wait to actually play with these on my eyes. You guys saw the swatches, they're really bright and blinding. So I really wanna create another look just using these all over the lid. Um, the cream blushes, you guys, I love. Out of this entire collection, I would definitely say that the makeup sponge was one of my favorites. I love how soft it is and how well it blended out my concealer. Like if I was using my regular beauty blender that I always use and to apply the cream blush, tambien. <laughs> Did it, it did a really, really great job. So the cream blushes, I love as well, but we all know that a lot of brands have been coming out with liquid blushes lately. So if you don't need them, you don't need to buy them. Um, I just love the packaging, the Valentine's Day vibes, you know, like I love it. I literally have them on my cheeks right now. Like I didn't apply any powder blush. Like this is just the cream blush. So it's super pigmented. It blended out really well. It didn't move or lift my foundation. So I really enjoy these. So these, and the beauty sponge are definitely a yes for me and actually the jello on um, the jello the jelly mush right much jelly much shadows um these were really great too i'm not a very big gloss girl like i will wear it de vez en cuando but it's not something that i'm like that i usually buy or i'll i will i'll buy like more like of a nude yeah like more of a nude gloss like oh like this one from dior like something like that i'm like a clear brownie light nude <laughs> um gloss i'm the, like that type of vibe um these ones are okay they're not too bad i really love how pigmented they are this color looks really beautiful on the lips right now with a brown lip pencil so but i you guys know me i'm more of a liquid matte girly so i feel like if they would have done liquid matte lipsticks in my point of view i probably would have loved it a lot more better but they're not bad they're pigmented it doesn't feel like i have anything on the lips super lightweight formula and it's not sticky so yeah if you're a gloss girl you will definitely enjoy these now these sparks um body glitter um again it's not something that i personally would use but if you are a person that goes to like raves or like parties a lot do you like to use body glitter you Will really like this like you, you can even put this in your hair um, you can get very creative with body glitter but for me personally like i don't use it on a daily basis so this will definitely be a pass for me i'm gonna leave this one up to you again just because the last row is really throwing me off but if you are a person that collects color pop collections i mean who doesn't they're super cute i mean i'm forever grateful that i get them in pr but with this collection if you guys like to collect all of color pops collections then i would definitely say yes all right so my husband is here you guys with dinner so i'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys here i love you so much don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you guys on thursday which i'm gonna answer your guys's questions regarding my benefit trip i was gonna do it for this video like i said but because i saw i got this collection i really wanted to do it for you guys for monday but i promise on thursday i, I took screenshots of all your guys's questions regarding my benefit trip so i'm gonna answer all of them for you um but if you guys have any additional questions for thursday's video also comment those down below for me and i will answer them um but yeah i love you besitos take care of you guys and i will link color pops link down below for you see you in the next one bye